Hi, I would like to show you one trick what was requested uh, or asked by one of my clients. So, uh, first of all, I drew some cable trays, just uh, basic ones, some bands. Upward band. I'm gonna straight segment. Uh, and let's say a T. Here. Okay, and I will change the length of this one to two meters. Okay, so we have some basic routing of the tray so what uh, was the request the request was to make an isometric drawing of this one so not a usual orthographic erection drawing but an iso like a pipe so i will make a quick iso now without any trick just hit create ISO production is currently running in the background. I hope my computer is fast enough and you don't have to wait too much. Uh, I don't want to have unnecessarily long, long video uploaded. So it should be ready in seconds, yes. So it already looks bad because we have two pages and this is a simple segment so it should be on one but anyhow try i will try to open it okay this is basically just one t and it and it weirds because one t and it doesn't fit even to one page so it is not good what about the second page the second page only shows the two or three bands yes two band and one upward band so it is not good so i close them no no so the trick is that you have to uh, show the program what iso symbol they should use or it should use for the iso creation for the straight segment so i copy paste this one this is s key equals pipe and type equals pipe so this is what you should enter here and also for this one so now both are having the same s key and type key so if it's there theoretically now the iso should be just fine we will see in a couple of seconds if it's really okay so <laughs> successfully created and it is in one page so it seems to be much better yes as you can see everything fits on one page I have three meter cable trays all together because one is one meter long the other one is two and we have two horizontal bands one upward going band with 45 degree angle and one T and all are 300 millimeter wide and it created some pipe like uh, isometric drawing also, if you are interested in different uh, keys, there is one PDF file. It is available on the autodesk.com site. It lists every type of uh, S key and default key from elbows to gaskets to cutlings, nipples, plugs, 
so whatever you want you can create it these uh, question marks represent the connection type and there is uh, a different table just for the connections as you can see here valid connections are vv so you have to change the uh, to question mark to vv if you ww if you want to have valid symbol on an inline instrument for example it would be e e w i i w w sorry uh, so for example if you want uh, a flanged uh, band the sk would be uh, let's say e e l f l just an example and if you want to avoid entering every time the s key and the type key in the plan 3d model you can do it in the spec editor so if you go to the spec editor and uh, just select cable tray you enter pipe here and and there and you will be good to go from this point onwards plan 3d will recognize the straight cable trays as pipes because the ISO symbol type is given as pipe and the SK is also pipe. So you just enter these two values here and then you won't have to bother with it in the 3D model. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.